because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the Russell here. Uh, this has made a new high. Uh, actually, it's not made a new high on the whole thing because that high was at uh, 24,000, excuse me, 2450. And so far, we've only been to 2424. Uh, uh, wow, strange. 2424 was a high so far today. Looking at this uh, intraday, you'll see that uh, we did have an ABCD farming here. Uh, I don't think it made the 382 off of this last low, but you'll never know until you check. And so it didn't even come close to that. You can see this one had a nice little ABCD, then a run up. And if you're looking for something to sell right now, then this would be a good one to look at because it's weaker than any of the others. Okay. And you do have a potential here for a, I'm not saying to do this because it's uh, you're far, far above the open, but there should be some uh, resistance coming in here at around 2408. Uh, we're right at the 61% retracement of the move right now, but I'm just showing you a little pattern just to uh, give you an idea. Now, there's a lot of stocks out here that are going, uh, that are having a pretty good run. Well, let's do the S&P since you, if you want to trade something that's tradable. Uh, not that I don't like the Russell, but I wanted to show you the, uh, uh, boy, hold on just a second here. There it is. Uh, the S&P should have some resistance here at uh, 5948. You have to risk about a uh, uh, six, seven point stop on this. There was the old high, which was back here at 55. And you made the A, B, C, D uh, to the downside. Folks, last night when this market was going uh, crazy, I was actually chatting with uh, Tom Hugard. And we were talking about a couple of things that looked exciting. And I was trying to show him uh, what was going on in the Dow Jones. Now, this was early in the morning, uh, around midnight. You can see midnight uh, New York time. That's around 8 o'clock here, uh, well, 9 o'clock here. And you'll see here we had a 300-point pullback stopped exactly at the 382. Then it completed the ABCD. It went higher because it backed off here and made another 382 down here at 3488 uh, or 3500 and then it gone has gone back up again i believe the highest so far has been uh, 43800 and and still going higher but uh, there's a couple of things with this make it look very very interesting that it might have a little bit of trouble now one of the things that we have been short for quite some time that has worked out pretty good let's get this up here so we can take a look at it and that is the uh, gold market. Where are you, gold? Here's here's our gold gold market today. I, you have to see this because this was really exciting. Um, there's your ABCD pattern coming in right here at 2710, folks. What happened after 2710? You're going to see in the next chart that I saved. I think I might have it in here still, but again, maybe not. Let me check. Okay, let me come on, come on, come on. Give me the time frame here. Maybe that's it. Uh, no, I didn't, but I'm going to show it to you because I saved it on another spot right here because I was pointing this out to Tom. There was our first ABCD pattern right there that measured perfectly to 27.10. It rallied $37, the harmonic number in uh, $36 in the uh, gold. It stopped right at the 382, and from that level, I said we should expect something to look like this coming down to 2650. So far, the low has been 2662. So this is going to be a big one to watch on this. And then also on the long term daily, you'll be able to see that really clearly. I think that we can get that one back up and uh, show you the four hour chart on that. You'll be able to see how it 
lines up pretty closely to what we're waiting to see here. It'll probably be tomorrow. doesn't look like it's going to be today. But there it is right there. I'm going to move it over a little bit. Uh, hopefully I am. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, people, what's going on now? Oh, man. I, I, I got to find something else to do for a living. This is just... Uh, man, I, I don't know what's wrong with it, boys and girls, but there's the problem. Here's what it looks like right here. This is why that number is so darn important, okay? For two reasons. One... Okay, from this low here to this high here, that comes in right at the 786 at 2656. Okay, now if we move back a little bit farther here and take this low right here, which was a big correction. That's a big correction that we had there, almost 100 bucks. And if you take a look at this, from this low right here to that low right there, ta-da! If this is still bullish, baby, this is where it's going to go. And then if it starts getting below here, then that long-term monthly that we were looking at, uh, yeah, it was monthly, that one is finally over. And, uh, of course, we look at that thing at the 2805 level, the high being 2801, if you remember that, on the uh, long-term uh, hourly chart. I still think we got it here, even though, yeah, we do. There it is right there, 2801. That was the big ABCD that came in and then we had the 382 here and then bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom and there's where we are coming in tomorrow. That that's, that looks really interesting. So if we're doing that, we should look at the silver market which has been a lot weaker. So we're gonna reach over here and take a look at it. Well, I've gotta go over the, the uh, positions that we've had on because we've had some really nice winners and we wanna be thankful for that. Let's get the silver up here, silver. Get this up on the hourly and then we'll switch over yeah, it's coming down pretty good. Let's look at look at this on the daily because we've dropped uh, about $2 uh, an ounce here. And uh, we're coming down pretty good. Here's the same thing. Let me straighten this out here, refresh all this. And uh, there's where we are. Now we're coming down pretty good. There was a, the move up here. Remember, this was the big weekly that we love so much that we missed by about, uh, I think it was about, uh, I think it was, uh, oh, I know what it is. It's on the continuation chart and not on this one. Let me switch over to that continuation chart and we'll take a look at that one because that'll give you that that absolute uh, perfect price that we were looking at. We'll get the daily, uh, I think it's on the weekly, maybe it's a daily, let's just double check. It's on the daily, there it is right there. And there was your uh, big, uh, double 1.61 ABCD, looking at it on the weekly. There it is right there. It missed this by three cents. And 35.20, 35.17, and now we've had a pretty good move down. So let's go back and look at that daily to see whether, because this is not over, folks. This is just a big correction. It's the biggest correction we've had in several months, but it's still just a correction. You can see we're coming down now for several weeks. So the first thing we want to do is to go back and take a look at the low that we made right back here, because that's going to be an important one. We come in and see that we missed the 382, so we're coming into some support here at 3097. That's going to probably line up at the same time we hit uh, 2650 in the uh, gold. So you need to watch that one uh, very, very close. All right? So that's part of the things that we're looking at. Let's check and see some of the things that we did right. This was the British Pound, folks. There was a... Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. not doing this way okay folks this is the S&P it's eight minute chart I don't mess around with this let's just talk about some of these markets we're having a little bit of a rally here in bonds because just about everything in the world is rallying and you'll move over here and you'll be able to see here we had a little ABCD here in the bottom and we're having a, a pretty good move uh, remember we were looking at this yesterday uh, I believe it was yesterday when we had uh, those um, equal moves if you remember uh, I think we did that on the, uh, I think we did on 13 minute. I, I did it so many. Yeah, there's what we did. Let's move it over. We did, this was the same exact move right there. They're just about exactly to the tick. There it is right there, exactly to the tick, setting right at the 78% level, one, two, three times. Boom, they come out with the uh, election results and bada bing, bada boom, down she went. But we are getting down. We, you can see here we made a 1.618 expansion. That's given us a little bit of a bounce, and we're due for one, so we'll find out if it's going to be a, a good bounce you know, or a bad bounce. Okay, so let's not, uh, let's not worry ourselves uh, about that. Okay, now uh, I want to talk about what I think is the biggest – uh, joke of this whole thing and not I don't I think it's great that we're uh, having some information about what's going on in the country and stuff but this is the weekly chart of Wells Fargo folks uh, I can't believe this stock is up 14 percent did it it's not anyway this is a big ABCD it gapped up 14 percent uh, Tesla gapped up 14 percent everything gapped up that's why the Dow's up 13, 1400 points. How many times has this ever happened before? Hello, operator, like a never. And that's including all the way back as far as I can get data, which is back into the 1800s. Even in 1929, you never saw anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. In fact, I had this, someone said to me jokingly, because we had made really good money in soybean oil, we made really good money in the uh, hogs, made really good money in the British, really good money in the British pound. And we we, we covered the short um, Dow Jones at the 382 yesterday, which is 1,500 points below where we are right now, folks. And so he says, don't you have egg on your face? And by golly, here it is. But I couldn't get it to stick on my uh, thing here. So we were not able to uh, not able to use it. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here with this. And there's gaps everywhere, folks. 
There's gaps everywhere. And as we know, gaps do get filled, maybe not in our lifetimes, but that's uh, that's the way it's going. OK, so let's remember. God bless America. Just a second, folks. I have a little domestic situation here. Uh, somebody's knocking at the door. Hold on. Uh, don't have to worry about that. Okay, look, a couple others that we want to look at here that we get a chance. Uh, hold on just a minute. Now, the soybean oil, we went way down. We had a $1,000 profit in it, folks. And look what's happened after we came down. Uh, we sold it way back here. Okay, there was your ABCD to the downside. That's a thousand bucks, folks. Hold on just one second here. Let's see if I, I hear bells going off everywhere. I don't know which ones count. Uh, need me to uh, see. I think we're running okay here. I, I think we're all right. All right. Sorry. Just a second. Lots of things going on. Anyway, that's what it's done. It's went back up and saw that same high again, but. Uh, that's where your, your, there was your ABCD profit right there. You'll see it. We talked about that before. There's your ABCD. Went to the tick, folks. 44.35. The low was 44.35. And if you wanted to, and a lot of people did, you had another ABCD right there, and you could have ran it to the upside and you have a little double bottom and bada bing, bada boom. So a lot of people buying a lot of things, folks. Uh, Camelot is here to stay. I can promise you that there will never repeat, never be another down day in the stock market. And we'll prove that to you tomorrow when we look at the open interest figures for the S&P 500 uh, and the uh, Russell and the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones to see uh, how much buying come in. Because if it was all short covering, I, I'll be ready, as they say in the trade. To me, this is like a Christmas day. Because I believe these gaps are going to be filled, and by golly, I don't know. Let's take a, just take a look at one, which is Tesla. Uh, I happened to um, couldn't believe where I, when I heard that it gapped up 14% today. There was a 61% retracement, folks, where we said it looked, it looked could be a buy. There's where the earnings come out. That was a gap, right? And then we had a gap today because of of the election. So this is a this is a big move. Look at this. We we closed down here at 210 and now we're at 288, folks. Do you realize that's a 35% move in about six days? You'll be able to buy a couple more spaceships with that kind of bread. All right. And all you just look at all of the all of the Dow stocks, folks. I went through each one of them. They all have these huge gaps. And if you go back and look, I don't care where you look, just look somewhere and you'll see gaps are filled. If you show me an unfilled gap, I'd like to see, and there are some, but they're very, very rare. And I'm not here to be rare. I'm here to be looking at something that uh, looks like it's going to work and I don't have to risk very much. That's the whole key to what I'm doing here as I'm watching some of these things unfold. Let me see if I get these other ones done. I have to cover, we've covered the British pound. I also want to talk about yesterday about a couple things that we were talking about. One of them was the copper market. We had a really beautiful pattern that someone had pointed out to us. Get this chart up. You can see here it was setting dead on right there at the 382, folks. That was it right there. We already uh, think that put that on the four hours so we could see more of it. There it is right there. Look at that. 49 70 cents in, uh, no, what am I talking about? 25 cents in copper. That's five large, folks, $500,000. $5,000. Up all night, folks. I literally have been up all night because I, I know history was being made and I want to take pictures and, you know, show you how these markets were moving intraday and, you know, give you ideas that, yeah, you can trade them, but you got to be really careful. That's what I was doing with the charts of the Dow Jones and the gold. I, I did, I also did crude oil. But uh, people didn't believe that crude oil could rally. And I said, be careful. Here it is right here. This is the one we were looking at the other day. Remember, we were trying to sell it up there at that 72.86 uh, that it missed by about uh, 10 ticks. Oh, it was a little higher than that. Excuse me. It was right there. 73.28. We made a double top here. But look at the look at the low here yet yeah, today, folks. Just clean this out. Oh, let me draw this in so we can see it together. All I got to do is get this rid of this. 
From the low we made back on the 29th to the high went to the tick, exactly 50%. You can see how it held the 382 for a while, then it broke down. See, that's why you got to risk a little more than 70 cents, because if you buy it at the 382, your stock's got it below here, and that's got to be about 90 cents. But look how much it's made. It's made two grand. Hello, operator. Come in Friday. Maybe we can get some of this action going for us when we got the live trading. That's oh, whew, with this kind of volatility. Don't miss it. I, I'm 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 even excited to see it. So, uh, well, hopefully I am. But we'll see. We'd had a good day if it was today because we had some nice moves in some of the things that we like to see. Now we've got to take a break here. Um, larger break coming up. Tile vertical. And what we come do is uh, I want to come back and. Uh, uh, go over the uh, hello operator uh, the treasury notes I want to cover treasury notes when we get back because that's going to be a, a pretty interesting one too uh. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious timer of the year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, uh, I would, uh, like I said before, I, don't, I wouldn't do this trade because it's so far above the open and it's, you know, still going higher, so there's no reason to mess with it. If you had to do one, 
it would be to, to sell the weaker of the group. And the weaker of the group is the Russell, and it would have to get to 2408 up here to the 78% level to do it. But with, with a really strong update, so far above the open, it's it's really not it's not worth the uh, it's not worth the effort to do it. All I all I can say is this is a, this is definitely one of the most not one it is in my opinion it is the most significant day that I have ever seen in the stock market, and I've seen. Everything from they start doing this back into the uh, the buttonwood tree, there at uh, Broaden and uh, Wall, and uh, believe me that these this this gap will be filled. Maybe not in our lifetime, but it will be filled. But these big gaps that you're seeing in the banking stocks, my goodness, take a look at this on the banking sector, folks. When I saw this, I, I heard about uh, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, all of them huge gaps. And so what I did was I went and I looked at the uh, the KRE, the, the banking index, and here again, look at this monster gap. Can you believe this? This is a this is a 14% gap right here, and look where it just keeps going higher and higher. So who knows where it's going to be? And they were telling us that there was problems in the banking system. Well, let's just look at this thing here from an ABCD standpoint. There's your AB leg, there's your CD leg, and it measures to. Uh, 65 but you've got a gap in here so you know you're going to go higher than 65 how much higher well usually it's 1.27 of the cd leg we'll change that and we'll take a look at what it would look like here in the banking system but this is uh this is get this up here and we'll be able to see it there's where we are right here get up to 68 76 that's not very far we'd probably be there before the end of the day but we got a huge gap here we had a gap here it was filled had a gap here, it was filled. Had a gap here, not quite filled yet, but it probably will be. But uh, anyway, that's what we're looking at here uh, in the banking sector. All of those stocks that are related to uh, Bank Bank of America, up 14 cents, 14% 14 folks. Bank of America, they're under investigation most of the time, but uh, that doesn't make any difference. So here's where we are here looking at this and we've got to pay attention here to uh, what else did I have to look at? I got a, oh, the dollar index. That's what I wanted to show you. If you were, remember yesterday when we were on the show, we were looking at the dollar index and made a comment. I made a comment about something did not look right in the dollar index. If you remember, we were sitting right here. Okay. And I, we're right here. We were looking at the 61% retracement. In fact, this had pulled back just a little bit, you see. And the euro, remember, is 50, 54% of the dollar index. So what we did was we went and we looked at the euro. We brought it up here real quick. And you'll see that what we were staring at, get that daily chart up here. We were looking right there. This is the upside down version of that. You see how this made the 382 in the dollar index? Didn't even come close. Wow, that's really unusual. And then you can see... Uh, the action that we had, there it is. It goes from 109 all the way down to 106. Three handles, folks. We had a three-handle move in the Treasury bonds, believe it or not. And so they're having a little bit of a rally too. So a little bit of a rock and roll going on there. So we'll see how this stuff uh, works out. Move this around here a little bit. And then we need to take a look at the Japanese yen because it was also affected by all of the stuff, moving, with money moving with the British pound and everything. Here is the, uh, get the daily up here. And you can see here, we stopped at the 382 here. We backed off for one, two, three, four, five days. Virtually no back off at all. I mean, just virtually nothing. You took off the low from back here. You just had one, two, three, four, five. I think we looked at this on a, um, you'll probably see some nice, oh yeah, there are some tiny ABCDs in here. You can see them on the way down when you're day trading. You can watch those, but uh, stopped right where it was. It was not anywhere near a 382, I don't believe. No, not even close. It's not even, well, it might have made 382 off of this one. Let's just double check, and then we'll see where we are here with that. Uh, no, it went to 50%, not too far, 50%, and uh, didn't quite get to the 618, and then boom, we've had a $3,000 rally in that uh, today. So the rocking and rolling continues and continues and continues. So let's move on here for just a second. And we got that out of the way and that out of the way. And another one we have to look at, I've covered the bonds, the NASDAQ. We'll get the NASDAQ up here because we tried to cover them all here. 
and the NASDAQ is not earlier. I didn't think it had completed, uh, made new highs as of yet, but we're very close. The, <clears throat> the old high is right back here. Folks, this was a $100,000 move right here from 21000 down to 17200 uh, that that was a lot of money, and you can see here now we're going back to these old highs again. Uh, we backed off uh, last couple of days, just basically at the seven eight six, and you know this is the, somebody had a pretty good idea that this was going to happen would be my guess, because of the way that the markets all came in unison this morning with the Dow gapping that much. I. Well, all I'm going to say is I'm going to be very, I'm going to wait and see, and they're going to have to prove it to me, and I, they're proving it to me. So I'll just stand aside and wait until I see a nice place to enter where I don't have to risk an arm and a leg, and then I'll, I'll go back in. But, boy, when we went above those numbers last night so quickly, I mean, it was moving so fast in the, in the Dow. Well, I showed you that picture of the Dow Jones. It was moving, so it was moving 100 points every seven or eight minutes. I mean, it was really going nuts when they, they found out that uh, no, uh, North Carolina and Georgia had already uh, submitted their uh, winning schedule, and that's what uh, that's what's going on. Okay, now let's move on over here, and uh, we've got uh, oh, another break coming up here. Let's see how we're doing with the time. Oh, a minute and 37 seconds. That's two lifetimes for somebody on the air. All right, Apple. We have to look at Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, because... Even that has to be up because uh, everything is up. Oh, Apple's not even moving at all, folks. Look at this. This is a daily. We can barely take out the highs of the last two days. This is not a bullish chart for Apple. Stop and think. The Dow's up. Look at it. It went to the 382 today. Again, right to the 382.25. Uh, we're still early in the day. But uh, why, why can't it get any higher? Is something wrong with this stock? I mean, it had a nice place to buy it. Right down here, but you think things that are jumping like crazy up 14%. Well, it's drawing wrong. Hold on a second. Get this up here and we'll see where we are. Uh, uh, computers, computers, computers. Get that over there like that. That's where I want to get to. Yeah, let's see, it stopped, uh, stopped at the 786, not the 618. Get that out of there. Okay, and that's what it sounds like. It's really, I'd, I'd be disappointed in the action if I were uh, an Apple. And there are some stocks that are down. Not everything is up, but this one's up, and it's still going up. You can see the NASDAQ is chugging ahead. That's making the Dow Jones going higher. And uh, the Russell here just backed off from the 618. Now, there again is a sign that all these others are making new highs. All this is doing is making a 61. That's not a good sign if you're in those 2,000 that are good, but it's got a lot of patterns up here in the Russell, and I'll uh, be talking about them all the time because. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to have as our guest tomorrow Bill Meridian of, of uh, Ast <laughs> Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria. He'll be our guest tomorrow at uh, 110. He'll be doing the whole show because he's got such great information that he needs more time and gives me a little break uh, so that I can rest up my old lungs here. This is the August low in the uh, natural gas. We rallied doubled in price up into here. And we, we remember when you're going to look at these, you have to go from the new low. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Hold on just a second here. There's your low. You'll see. Uh, Today, yesterday's low here uh, came in right here at the 382. Now, if you're not looking at this like that, you don't really see that. All you're seeing here is the 61% pullback coming in right there. So you got a double number here. That's why it's so darn important, okay? Then you have a move up and then a move down. And all you're seeing now is you're, you're gonna be try to be making another new high in here. Now, here was the key right here because remember, here was your high on the 25th you have a three-day rally that ends right here. Now, let's just get your placard out there, Johnny. See if this happens to be the old 382. From this high down to this low right here, bada bing, bada boom, 91 to 52. That's 3,800 large. And then what do we do? We have a new low. All right. So we have to clean that out. And we take the new low and to the new high or the old high. And where does that take us? This one goes to the 382. It stays here for a full day, then comes down and touches it again. What it looks like now is it looks like the natural gas is getting ready to form a Gartley up here at the 61% retracement level, up about another uh, $13. So watch that one real closely. This is a perfect Gartley. Look, you went into the gap, but this is due to the rollover. But there's, there's where you are. You're going to see that it's a perfect uh, Gartley pattern. This, will, this might be one, if we're lucky, we'll have this on Friday's menu, which would make me quite happy because that would be a flat-out kind you really like to see. And you just sell it right there at your, uh, hold on just a minute, this thing is too sensitive. You'd sell it right here at 89. You can see there's 90, so there's not much difference. You stop, it had to be at 294. So there's a chance that it's turning, and this could be on Friday. And this is uh, the 6th, the 7th is uh, uh, tomorrow, and followed by the 8th, and that's where we're going to be trading, right here uh, on Friday. So if you get a chance, try to stick in with us and see uh, what's going on. Okay, now you see how this just keeps moving higher and higher here, folks? That's because it's so powerful and late in the day like this. It's just one of those that didn't work. If I'd have sold it at 49, uh, I would probably, 
I probably have a stop at 55. I risk 300 bucks, and even then, I would be a little little skeptical in here. But uh, I would have done the trade at 49, and my stop would have been six cents, uh, 55, if I would have done it. But the best one to do, of course, would have been the Russell here at the 61% retracement. Okay, now what's next for the bonds? Let's look at these for just a second. This is. This is the trouble, folks. I don't, the, the Federal Reserve is between a rock and a hard place, and now they got a guy in Washington that's got the hammer, so they're not going to be able to do, well, who, who knows what's going to happen. I better shut up and think I'm a fool than to open my mouth and remove all doubt. Let's take a look here uh, at the long-term weekly on this. Remember, but look where we've come down now, folks. We've had this much of a move down. Now, if we apply... The things that we did on the intraday with what we have on the daily, let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up like this. And we can see here that this market had a very strong correction from there to there, didn't it? All right. Now, we believe that markets – I haven't done this before. We believe ah, – this one didn't line up very well. It's close enough. There it is. Is what we did. Okay. And we're going to come over and see that it should come in just about today. Now, this took a lot longer, but this is doing the same amount of correction that this one did right there. It's almost there. Now, let's let's compare with the Fib numbers, all right? You go up to your high right here, and there was your potential low here at 114.22. The low was uh, 115.10, and we've had a pretty good rally. So this is still valid, this 114.22. So kind of keep an eye on that. And then you also want to see what it was off of this low right here. And it's already through the 786. I can see that. So the only thing, yeah, well, it stopped at the 786. Uh, there it is, 22. The high was 10. It's already rallying a full point. So this is a valid, a valid low in here. So we should get a pretty good rally here and we'll find out what it's going to be but this is a, a extremely bearish chart and you see it even more so in the shorter term you know or the longer term uh, the notes which are shorter term and you'll see here that they have been even more decimated than uh, uh, hold on there's where we are right here get those right here this is the daily oh I got a wonderful bad tick in here I can correct this just a second, then I'll refresh the data later. Delete the bar. Okay, oh, we're almost at the seven. Oh, this is interesting here. Hey, let's do the same thing here with the, with the uh, because this is a bigger market. This is six times bigger. Okay, here was the correction that we had before. Beautiful Gartley down here, 106, and when did we go? For six months, we went all the way up to September. Perfect day, BCD. Remember that on the weekly? Okay, now coming down, you see we came down that far. So if it's repeating, oh, real close. Uh, this is where it should have gone to, but we're a little low. We're at one, it said 109.25, and we've been to uh, 109.07, which was the 03, was the 786 of that number. And let's just check and oh, this we got a rally coming. I believe we do. Yep, there it is right there. That was a 618 off of your low right back here. Oh, dear. Did I miss something? I think I did. Doing too many other things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a rally coming in the interest rates, folks. I don't know what the Fed's going to do, but these markets are ready to have a little short covering rally. And I mean little. It ain't going to do much, but it's going to do something. And it could be something spectacular because it's got hit really bad. Look how bad it got here. And look what happened. Woo, away it went. The key to that was right there. If you remember, we were looking at bonds at six at 05 at that time. Uh, where did I put that darn thing? This is the bottom right here. Let me get this out of the way so we can see it quickly. Yeah, see, whenever whenever a market changes, and that, this is, doesn't work all the time, but most of the time it does, it goes up and it gives you one last chance at the old 382 or the 50%. This one goes, see the difference between these is only eight ticks or a couple hundred dollars. So it usually stop here, you stop has to go below there, all right? But now we've got a lot of things going that this should rally. We got just a whole lot of things telling us that, that we should start a rally in here. We got two fib points, we got cycles from high to low, we got the harmonics of equal moves. This move back there is gonna be equal to this one right here. 
So that's what we got working. And guess what else we have working? We're going to have to pay a commercial. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, here's we are, here we are with the Treasury notes. We're going to go through it again. This is the weekly. This is the last support right here. Uh, we had this in here for a long time, folks. It hit it today. I did. I had so much stuff going on, I didn't even bother to look at it. But uh, that would have been a place to cover because uh, you have equal moves down. We just covered that. And we cover the time. It's just absolutely as perfect as you can get. This makes this a, a one three five pattern, setting exactly at the 61% retracement of the low right here and 78% of the move right here. So you've got... Four things that make you think that this would be a spot to, uh, there's right there, your 786 is just right below that. So uh, look for a place to, I, I just buy them and then put your stop below here because they're getting ready to rally. We're down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks. This one was down several months, but remember this completed the big ABCD up here, okay? So that's what we're paying attention to. So if you're going to buy the bonds, that uh, you want if they, if they go below 114, there's certainly something wrong. But 
they should also have a pretty good uh, uh, rally to the upside too, okay? Now, that's what we're watching uh, closely. If you get a chance, I hope you can join me on Friday for the live trading thing. And we've always had a lot of fun. We've made some money with this kind of volatility. Gee, we should have some really good moves. We had here earlier this morning, we had some really nice ones. And then the market, you know, just started to chug away to the upside, which is, it's expected. It's a big event, biggest ever, actually, from my opinion. Yeah, going back and look at charts, you're going to say, what the hell happened on that day? And uh, they're going to go back and look. But that gap that we had today of 600 points in the Dow Jones, that will be filled. I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime or not, but it will be filled. You can't find a gap on the Dow Jones Industrial Average going back to, that's 210 years, I think, it's been going on ever since they were on the Buttonwood Tree there at Wall and Broad in New York City. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Bill Meridian as our guest. Okay, make sure you lift, listen to it tomorrow. <laughs>